Hey YouTube, XBMC Nut here. I wanted to show you how to um, use a Shelly PM1. So it's a single um, Wi-Fi switch with power monitoring <clears throat> to make a, a dumb device in Home Assistant that has no feedback uh, smart. So the problem I had is that I had a uh, 433 megahertz fan that I bought. It's with a wireless control. I've got two of them in the house. One in the master bedroom and one in the uh, my son's room. And the trouble is, I was able to turn those on uh, by learning the codes through an RM Pro, a Broadlink RM Pro, by sniffing the 433 megahertz uh, protocol. So I learned the um, the stop command and the speeds one, two, and three, even though it goes up to six, and the reverse command. And uh, Dr. Z actually has a really good video, which I'll link to in the description below, on how to actually um, sniff the 433 megahertz protocol for the Broadlink, <clears throat> which is unfortunately not easy, and you've got to jump through hoops to do that, but uh, his method works very well. Um, the problem with doing all of that is that when you turn the uh, fan on with the Broadlink command, there's no feedback from the fan. So... You've got no idea whether the fan's on or off. Uh, you've got no idea what speed it's going. And you've got no synchronization between the fan remote and Home Assistant. So if you turn the fan on with Home Assistant, and then someone turns it off with the remote, you've got no idea that it's actually been turned off. So <clears throat> I came up with the idea, and you can use this idea for any device that's dumb, maybe a heat pump or an air conditioner. Um, that can't be integrated um, to Wi-Fi. Um, you could connect the Shelly PM1 uh, to the power line, which is what I've done in this case, and monitor the power consumption that's being used by the device. And the Shelly PM1 is so accurate that I was able to determine the different speeds being used uh, or, or uh, determine the different speeds of the fan on the power consumption so when it's drawing uh, when it's on speed one it's drawing about three watts from memory when it's on speed two it's drawing five watts and when it's on speed three it's drawing eight watts <clears throat> so with the help of the home assistant community um, i was able to build a fan template which looks at those uh, current consumptions those power usages and then calculates uh, the speed based on that <clears throat> So I can show you that in action here. So here's my son's fan. And if I click on the uh, title, it will give me the drop down box and I can actually select the speed here and then close that. And you'll see very shortly the speed um, will be detected. It, it just has a little hiccup as it starts up um, while it's determining how much current is being drawn. There's a, a peak power consumption as it uh, winds up. And then as soon as the fan settles down, hopefully that will come back to two. Otherwise, <laughs> I'll have to start the video again <laughs> and see if I can work out my fan template. So let's see what happens. Didn't make sure I selected two. Yes, I did select two. I just had to disappear and uh, tweak my code because the um, the speed threshold I had here had it at six um, to determine speed two. So between six and eight was speed two, and uh, above eight was speed three. So it was actually drawing slightly lower than six, and it was reporting uh, the wrong speed. So um, this is how it works in practice. So. <clears throat> um, if I go and look at my values here, um, so between 3 and 5 is speed 1, um, between 5 and 8 is speed 2, and above 8 is speed 3. So if I now change the speed and put that on 3, we'll see a, a spike here, and that will settle down, and it's reporting the correct speed there. And if I go and change that to speed one, watch the power consumption go down below five. 
once it settles, it thinks it's off because it's below three, but it should come back up again and synchronize. And if I, if I actually turn the fan off with the remote, then um, the power consumption would drop. I, I mean, I can simulate that there. If I turn the fan off, the power drops below three and it comes back and says the fan is off and then simulates the, um, or does the switch. So <clears throat> I'll show you how I do that. So the first thing you need to do is you need to set up a power monitoring sensor in Shelly. And of course, I do this all with uh, MQTT. I'm running a um, mosquito broker on my Synology NAS. <clears throat> and here's the code here. So um, it's basically just uh, Shelly's. This is on their website as well. Um, relay zero power. This is for a PM1. Give it a name, David Fan Shelly Power and MQTT. And then we drop that into a fan template. So now that we're <clears throat> measuring the current that the fan is using, we can create a fan template. So if we bring that up here, and I'll put all this on my um, uh, GitHub guest repository so that you can uh, have a look at it, minus the broad link codes. Um, so here's the template fan. It took me ages to get this working properly. And here's the sensor that we created, sensor.david underscore fan Shelly Power. And basically uh, what this says is if it's above three, then it's on, and else it's off. <coughs> The rest of the template is just your standard fan template stuff um, and all the magic is actually done down the bottom um, with the sensor for the fan speed template. So this is estimating the fan speed here. Again, we're using that um, that power sensor coming from the Shelly device. And uh, if it's between three and five, it's on speed one. Um, between five and eight, it's on speed two and above eight, it's on speed three. So, um, yeah, that's how you can turn a dumb device into a smart device by tracking the power consumption using a Shelly PM1. Um, I hope that's been uh, of some use to someone, and um, thanks for watching.